and was actually written in the middle of, the, of last week following messages on social media calling for people to meet at the city hall and then to march to the Islamic Centre, which is not very far from here of course, to, and I quote from the document that came out, to protest and to demand a withdrawal from our communities and our Christian country and to bring your Christian flags and banners, your Union and Irish flags. And this of course followed the awful Southport killings and the completely false claims that the perpetrator was a recent immigrant Muslim, followed then by right-wing rioting in parts of Britain as we've seen. A counter call was issued by some local politicians here and unions calling people to join a unity over a diversity rally at City Hall yesterday at lunchtime in support. And I attended this on behalf of the Northern Ireland Interfaith Forum. You'll have heard of, I'm sure, of the, some of the ugly scenes, although it started in a, in a fairly light-hearted way. The scenes got worse during the afternoon as the protesters, the anti-immigration protesters, moved on and eventually attacked businesses again in this local area. And I heard people at that rally in the anti-immigrant crowd calling those of us who were standing with the, uh, the, the anti-racism group, calling us as paedophiles, I'm not sure where that came from. And I saw the, what I thought was an unhappy association of Union flags and Irish tricolours. And also saw a white cross being waved, reminiscent of some of the Ku Klux Klan symbols. I've been pleased to hear statements from some in the churches, not least from this denomination by Alistair and by Linda Kane, and also from the Irish Council of Churches, making it clear that this kind of protest did not represent Christianity in any way at all. And some political parties were represented at the, at the counter rally, but others I think were notable sadly by their absence, and as best as I can tell, not so far issuing statements uh, to counter the hatred and racism. I'm going to read, if I may, the statement that I received from uh, a friend in the Belfast Islamic Centre. The statement has now been endorsed by the Northern Ireland Interfaith Forum Executive, and we were asked to share it as widely as possible in the couple of days before yesterday's protest. So I read the statement. Over recent days, numerous calls for people to protest against Muslims in Belfast have been shared on social media. These calls rest on a familiar and completely false narrative that Christianity is under attack and that Muslims are a threat to our society rather than an integral part of it. The calls for people to protest and march in order to demand that Muslim members of our community leave the country are clearly and undisputably Islamophobic. We want to reassure the community that this hate is not endorsed by the majority of people here, that we speak out because we recognise the wider impact of hate speech and of recent attacks on Muslim and minority communities who feel vulnerable and threatened at this time. The reality is that none of us in Northern Ireland, regardless of our race or religion, are safe while Islamophobia, racism and hate speech are allowed to flourish online and spill <coughs> in the streets. We commit ourselves, therefore, to challenging racism as we have done in the past through positive actions and public mobilisations. We're calling on the trade unions who represent many thousands of people who are the target of these attacks to support us in mobilising against attempts to divide our communities. We also call on local political parties to urgently and unequivocally condemn as Islamophobia any calls for people to gather, protest, rally and march against Muslim members of our community to unequivocally condemn as racist and Islamophobic any attacks on individuals and on places of worship, 
to issue a statement to party members, voters and supporters that condemns violence and instead encourages peace, mutual respect and community cohesion. And to contact community representatives in this difficult and troubling time to help reassure the community. And the statement ends, Belfast is a city of sanctuary to many people and this is one of its strengths. There is no place for racism or Islamophobia here. Any deliberate attempts to stoke tension, fear and hatred must be opposed firmly and urgently. Thank you.